Good afternoon, Ridgewood members. Uh, myself, Jimmy Cunningham, and Alex Johnson are right here. We are trying to, on this rainy day, to give you some tips how to hit a better bunker shot. Um, there's some misconceptions that, that people are out there, and we apologize if it's a little windy, but Alex is going to demonstrate the, the proper technique to get your golf ball out of the bunker and somewhat close. So go ahead and take it over. All right, so a lot of things that I see when people struggle with bunker shots is kind of twofold. Number one is they don't take a large enough swing. Number two is they try to help it out of the sand. So if you've got a ball that's sitting in the bunker, you want to try to draw kind of a train track. Just kind of ride a, a track here, a track here, your ball sits right in the middle. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to kind of hover your ball or your club and you're going to do a little sand dance, right? So you're going to wiggle so that your feet kind of stay in place because you don't want to be swaying all over the place. Number two, you're going to take a pretty good size swing, okay? Kind of three quarters to almost a full swing. After you do that, you want to hit your club through this first train track and keep it in the sand through both of those train tracks so that you hit the sand, not the ball. And if you do that, it should look something like this. Very nicely done, sire. Now, let me ask you this, as, a, as an instructor trying to teach someone, you know, at home, are you supposed to have a full finish or what should you do? Is this more hand oriented or is this body oriented? It's a little bit of both. Um, you definitely want to have more of a full finish. If you kind of stop short, chances are you don't have enough energy going through to get that ball out and you're going to end up in this lift or you're going to catch all ball and you're going to end up in the houses across the from the chipping green here. Correct. We don't want that. No. That's Ron, an insurance problem. Dr. Gray, or Dr. Rondy Gray does not want a golf ball in his front window. So, exactly. He does not want that. So again, do your little sand dance, take a pretty full swing, make sure you follow through, and hit both of those train tracks and rescue your golf ball. Very nice. Thank you much, sir. And so what should uh, people try to do when they come back out when it's not raining, which it is on us, but that's okay because we love our Ridgewood members. Absolutely. So what should they do? How often should they practice bunker play? I would say most members and most golfers in general neglect the short game. You should spend most of your time chipping and putting. Um, and I would spend, of your short game practice, I would spend about a third of it in the bunker. So however long you're going to be here. Uh, and don't just practice easy shots, you know, practice ones that are a little bit difficult or uneven because you never know what you're going to find on the golf course. So could you elaborate when you have an uneven lie, what you're supposed to do with that? <clears throat> so uneven lies, it's the same type of, of stuff that you want to do. You still want to be pretty stable. You still want to have a pretty good swing. This being on a downhill lie, you want to open this club up a little bit more to get a little bit more loft on it. But other than that, the biggest thing you can do is change your expectations. You're not going to hit this shot as close as you would as if it was there. Your goal for pretty much any bunker shot should be to get out of the bunker and onto the green to have a putt. So I'm not going to hit this ball to within 15 feet more often than not. But if it's out and I can putt, I will be very happy. Very nice. Everything is peachy king there, Mr. Johnson. I appreciate that very much. Absolutely. And Ridgewood members, um, just take advice from this, uh, what you see here. If you have any questions, you can email us. Uh, I think everybody's got our emails. And I'm just going to hit one more. And the thing to realize when he hits those shots, how quiet it is. Oh, he almost made it. When he hits that golf shot, it's very, very quiet. If you hear a clank or you hit ball, we're in trouble. So thank you very much for uh, watching our video, and we look forward to seeing you on the golf course. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a good day, everybody.